clovers. Wish I'd have started this video earlier, but I actually I didn't think it was going to end up being this entertaining. So I've had a I've had a crack in the exhaust manifold on the uh, Suburban for a long time, and you might notice something odd back there. But uh, I'm just now trying to get the stupid EGR connection off because it's a one inch which requires a one inch wrench which is not the smallest wrench to fidget around back there at a funky angle so uh, I'm gonna deal with that probably off camera it is super gross weather today it's snowy it's crazy windy um, I just don't want to bug you guys with the bad audio on that but uh, this will entertain you it's that classic 1999 suburban two-piece two-piece exhaust manifold and I believe that it is just from rust stress and mileage I don't um, I did a pretty good once over around it. I can't find any impact marks where something may have hit it. Um, this truck was actually totaled, oh, probably 16, 17 years ago now. Uh, front end collision took the, just blew the entire front end apart. So it was totaled at that point, and I would almost suspect. If I had to, if I was forced to make a guess on what happened, I would say that that may have gotten a stress crack after that accident because the passenger side is uh, is just fine. So there's nothing, nothing going on with the passenger side that I would be worried about. So this uh, originally is a California car, but since it's uh, no longer living in California, I'm not going to bother with the secondary air injection system because it has failed on me. And if any of you guys have dealt with these pumps before, you know just how, how ridiculously loud and supremely annoying they can be. So I think for now, I am probably going to patch it the best I can, get the computer changed over so that the check engine, so it doesn't think it needs it and check engine light will go away. So that's all future stuff, you know, future projects are kind of my thing. So, all right, well, I'm going to get back on trying to get that EGR bit off and get the rest of the exhaust off. So wish me luck. All right, successfully got the EGR off <clears throat> and the back half of the manifold. Oxygen sensor looks a little ugly, but I'm not going to deal with it right now. I have a brand new set of O2 sensors and a brand new um, catalytic pair going in, so I will deal with those later on. Uh, EGR hose was a bit of a pain, so what I ended up doing was taking a one inch power torque GM 6414 with probably not a lifetime warranty anymore. Uh, got that to where it fit on there, put a big breaker bar, pushed against the end and shoved till it loosened it up. And then I grabbed my big blacksmith's pliers and finished it off with those. So pretty easy, um, got it off and here is what we've got left. So, new one going in looks night and day better. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all the old gasket stuff off and then I'll get these installed. Pretty sure this is the smoothest the old girl has run in years. Definitely your quietest. <laughs> 